वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ सम बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज ए डेविएशन इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री ए डेविएशन इज एनी डिपार्चर फ्रॉम अप्रूव प्रोसेसेज प्रोसीजर्स और स्पेसिफिकेशन दैट मे अफेक्ट प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी सेफ्टी और इफिकसी हियर मीनिंग ऑफ डिपार्चर इज चेंज और डिफरेंस रेफरेंस आई सी एच क्यू सेवन वॉट इज ट्रेंडिंग ऑफ डेविएशन ट्रेंडिंग ऑफ डेविएशन इज रिव्यूंग डेविएशन ओवर ए स्पेसिफाइड टाइम पीरियड analyzing patterns identifying root causes and implementing corrective actions to drive continuous improvement in processes and product quality why is trending of deviation is important in pharmaceutical manufacturing trending of deviations helps to identify recurring issues root causes and areas for improvement ensuring compliance and maintaining product quality reference fds 21 cfr part 211 very important question what are the key steps in analyzing deviation trend you can refer below five steps for analyzing deviation trend step 1 collect data gather relevant and accurate data from reliable sources example logs or reports step 2 categorize deviations group deviations based on type severity frequency or impact for better analysis step 3 perform root cause analysis investigate underlying causes using tools like five wise fishbone diagram and pareto analysis step 4 identify patterns analyze data to detect recurring trends or common factors contributing to deviations and fifth very important step implementation of kappa take corrective actions to address immediate issues and preventive actions to avoid future occurrences reference ich q10 This one is very frequently asked question. Question is what are common root causes of recurring deviations? You can refer below table for different category and root causes. Under human factors category, insufficient training or human errors in procedures. Under process issues category, inadequate or outdated SOPs. Under equipment issues, equipment malfunction or improper calibration. Under material issues. variability in raw material quality or improper handling and under management systems weak qms or inadequate kappa processes what is the role of kappa in managing deviation trends kappa addresses root causes of deviations preventing recurrence that is repeat occurrence and ensure continuous improvement in processes reference 21 cfr part 820 How can a pharmaceutical company reduce the number of deviations? Pharma company can reduce the number of deviations by implementing robust training programs, improving process controls, conducting risk assessments and ensuring proper maintenance of equipment. Reference ICHQ9. How often should deviation trends be reviewed in a pharmaceutical company or what should be the frequency for reviewing deviation trends? Deviation trends should be reviewed periodically example monthly or quarterly and during management review meetings reference UGMP annex 15 very basic and important question what is the difference between critical major and minor deviations you can refer below table to differentiate between critical major and minor deviations in case of critical deviations deviations has significant risk to product quality patient safety or regulatory compliance in case of major deviations these deviations are having impacts on product quality but no immediate risk to patient safety in case of minor deviations the deviations having minimal or no impact on product quality patient safety or compliance how can deviations be categorized for effective trending deviations can be categorized by type for example process equipment or documentation root cause product or manufacturing stage for systematic analysis reference fda's guidance on investigating out of specification results how can statistical tools be used for deviation trending tools like pareto analysis control charts and trend analysis help to visualize data identify patterns and prioritize issues reference fda's guidance on process validation what is the impact of unresolved deviation trends on regulatory inspections unresolved trends may lead to regulatory observations warning letters or even product recalls due to non compliance reference fda's warning letter database how can risk assessment tools be applied to deviation trending tools like failure mode effect analysis that is fmea or risk priority numbers 
that is RPN, help to prioritize deviations based on severity, occurrence, and detectability. Reference ICH Q9. What is the role of a quality management system that is QMS in deviation trending? A QMS has following roles in deviation trending. Centralizes deviation data, facilitates trend analysis, ensures timely CAPA implementation, and maintains compliance with regulatory requirements. Reference ISO 9001 2015. What are the regulatory expectations for documenting deviation trends? Regulatory agencies expect clear documentation of deviation investigations, trend analysis, CAPA effectiveness, and evidence of continuous improvement. Reference FDS 21 CFR Part 211. Don't forget to like, comment and share, subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.